In this video, we're going to be looking at Bitcoin, one of the many markets at the moment that seems to be on everyone's lips. Uh, it's been performing very well, particularly through the last quarter of 2020. And I want to take a look at an objective view of where I believe we are in the cycle, where I believe we are heading in the near future and beyond. I want to stress the point with regards objective view. There's lots and lots of uh, chatter online at the moment and it's very easy to get sucked into the hype and if you're putting your hard-end cash into markets it's very important you're able to keep an objective view and determine what the market is actually really doing there's lots of people as i say are really bullish on crypto and unfortunately what the behaviors of those type of people is whenever a market's going up is they just believe it's going to continue to going up and then whenever, whenever a market's going down there are people who believe it's going to keep going down so when you're reading about it be very careful about who you're actually reading the information from. Take a step back and really analyze the chart yourself. And that's what I want to hope to do in this video. Let's take a step back first of all to see where, where we are. We're sitting up here now at 36,000. It's the 15th of January in 2021. Going back, I want to look at the conditions here because it'd be really important how this market is going to develop over the coming weeks and months. Back here when we've seen a couple of breakouts, particularly what we had here in June and again in October of 2020. Uh, I want to draw your attention to the commitment of traders data, which has been really interesting recently in crypto. We can just see an increase of commercial buying in July. And again, we've seen an increase in October, which continued quite aggressively through December. And that's the biggest amount of commercial buying we've ever had in the Bitcoin futures contract. You'll see generally the activity of commercials has been very, very small. A lot of times actually no interest here whatsoever. Something perked their interest coming through the last summer into July and certainly then again through October and November and December we've seen those increases. And this will be important to pay close attention to over the coming weeks with the, the new release of the data each week. Going back to the chart, I say we've seen from the commitment of traders data, we've seen the accumulation through June and July, and we've seen that break just there thereafter. Again, in the second bout of accumulation that we've seen from the commitment of traders data, the, uh, leading to the October break, which followed through and just below the highs here at 20,000, we've seen quite a significant accumulation on the long side by commercial, which is a, unusual that they're buying, buying highs, but it's a very bullish condition. So in the price action, the structure of this market and the conditions that we can see within it, we're bullish and we got the break higher. So that the conditions is there for being bullish, but what does that mean we're going now? Where are we going from here? Are we heading, you can see the many headlines, are we heading to 100,000, 500,000, or are we going back to 10,000 or even zero? For this, I wanna show you something I was first talked about back in August 2018, actually. I wanna show you a Facebook post that I looked at. Uh, and it was comparing gold to or Bitcoin to gold. Uh, at this point, this was August, end of August 2018. I put this up. Uh, at this point, we've had that we'd had the big parabolic run in Bitcoin and a number of all the other cryptos. Um, we'd had the top. We've seen the market correcting, and the sentiment in this time was very, very bearish. Very hard to find people who were actually bullish on crypto. Um, the reason for my post at this point in time is it's very easy for people to be negative about a market whenever it's going down. Same as it's very easy for people to be bullish at a market whenever it's going up. So it's important we're able to step, take a step back and really analyze the market to determine what it's trying to do. And I, I used gold as an illustration. Gold now is seen as you know one of the savior, saviors of financial markets. Everybody loves gold. But if you think of where we were back and through the, the 80s and 90s, it was a very, very different scenario. Again, uh, very similar structure to what we had in through 2018 in crypto. We got the same uh, movement in gold through the late 70s. Uh, we've seen the big parabolic move, the extreme volatility toward, towards the top of the market. And then it started to correct and spent quite a bit of time. It actually spent 20 years down here. But the path of gold, I think, is very, very important. And I think it will tell us a lot about how how markets, the cycles of a market, the sentiment of a market, and how it actually evolves. And I want to use this chart again to try and plot and understand where I think crypto was actually heading to. 
um because we've seen how crypto and, and bitcoin in particular has had this base and we've started to catch up and we have broken the highs very very similar structure in the sentiment cycle that we had in gold which we know then continued to push the highs and we've just continued again to the highs just towards the end of 2020. so to take another look at the gold chart i think it will help us understand where we are actually heading in the coming months and years in crypto and say we had the big parabolic move in the 70s we didn't do uh, pretty much nothing through the the 80s and 90s and then all of a sudden it started to wake up and then through the the late 20, uh, 2007, 2008, etc. Et uh, everybody needed uh, gold. So you started to see the sentiment cycle, the end of the, the, the big bull run. Um, but in terms of crypto, where are we? I think at the moment, Bitcoin is in this blue box. I think uh, the sentiment cycle will be very similar to what we've seen in the, the gold market and many, many other markets. But the gold one is a, it's a very... Uh, very clear and obvious correlation to what we have, uh, what we have seen in crypto, and it's a very clear path to uh, to use again. We've seen the nice run up here, just like we had in crypto. We've seen the base built just below the previous uh, highs, a nice base with a breakout and continued higher. This is where I think we currently are in crypto. I think we're getting very close to the current top. Uh, I think we're probably in the corrective phase. Um, we're most likely going to come back towards the the old highs around the twenty thousand, maybe between twenty four and twenty to twenty thousand. Take a look at the Bitcoin chart specifically in a second, uh, but I just want to go through the sort of the evolution of the cycle in here. Um, I I believe we're close to this. If we haven't already seen the top, we may push in uh, Bitcoin to war back towards the forty four thousand uh, high. Maybe even push as high as the fifty. But I think we're probably in this corrective phase, and we could do this for a number of months before we come back and retest. But the main thing I want to draw my, my, the attention to is just like gold here, we we started the main move, the main bull run after that. Whenever this held from the previous highs, you started to see everybody piling into that market because it was the case, it was primed, we are going higher, and it was the case of nobody wanted to miss out. I think that's where we are. Uh, we still haven't done that. We've seen crypto had a big, big move, Bitcoin in particular have had a huge move, but I actually don't think we've seen the main move in Bitcoin. Uh, taking that where we currently are in relation to where what gold has done, say I think we're in this corrective phase and the likelihood is we're gonna see it correct back towards these old highs. It's somewhere within this box, say between 20, 24 and 20,000, I would expect to see crypto coming back here through the early part of 2021. Uh, could be the summer before we even get to this area, but the main point is I think we're gonna follow, the continue to follow the pattern of gold, and we haven't even seen the main bull run yet. Where to from here? We're following very similar price action that you'd expect around a top or before a, a correction. Uh, I believe uh, we will continue to see some buying. It'll take a little bit of time in through here. We could certainly easily push towards the 42,000 in here again. I think we can go higher, maybe make a new high around 44, possibly even 50, a spike up towards 50. We do start to see big oversized uh, candles, a lot of ag aggressive and volatile price action in here. We didn't actually get it on the buy side in the way up. We started to see it on the, uh, the short side, so which suggests we actually haven't had the, the full blow off top in terms of the buyers. I still think there's buyers in this market. So I expect to see over the coming days and um, maybe into the next couple of weeks as we get in towards the end of January, pushing, trying to push towards the previous highs, maybe making a new high, but the, I don't see much more in here. And ultimately we're in this corrective phase back towards the 24 to 20,000 area. But the key point is, is I don't think we've actually really started the main move in here in Bitcoin. Where we can go, I'm not uh, going to try and predict this, but uh, using what, the cycle of how markets move and using gold is a really, really uh, good example because it's uh, it's followed this, the, the exact same cycle we generally see with markets, particularly after having those parabolic moves. We build a base over a, quite a period of time and then we see the markets really wake up. There are lots of markets of history that have done this. Uh, I don't see crypto and Bitcoin being any different. So the key point is understand analyze the market be objective don't get sucked into the hype uh, whether it's going to a million or it's going to zero 
look at the chart, step back, analyze what it's doing, make your own decisions. For me personally, I do think we're, in terms of the cycle, we're within this box. Uh, I expect us to be in this corrective phase for a number of months, and then we'll start to see the buyers return again. And then we'll really enter this main phase where you'll have everybody trying to pile in and we can go a lot, lot higher. If you want to join me as I talk a bit more of this over the coming weeks, I'll be going through the cut data, latest cut data for the Bitcoin over the coming weeks. And, and, and every week I will be on our MMC TV live streams every Monday at 8 p.m. UK. You can join me there and I'll go through that. But hopefully you find that beneficial. Uh, say the key thing if you are getting involved in crypto be objective analyze your the markets make your own decisions and don't get caught up in the hype